and Marlow goes in, and they're all under orders, and Marlow goes switchly left, and so too does Eaton Star. But as they settle down, it is Dunlevy and Marlow. Dunlevy going straight down the shortest way down the middle. Marlow now takes it up by about three lengths, and Paul Chiari even has a chance to turn round as he comes to the stand side rail. It's Marlow by about three lengths from Dunlevy, who's about five, six lengths from 1080, and the back marker is Eaton Star at this stage. It is still the early time pacemaker, Marlow. Marlow, who's about two lengths up from Dunlevy, nothing much in it. These two race about 15 lengths ahead of the field and there's nothing much in it at all. Marlow and Dunlevy, they race neck and neck with 400 meters to go. Go back 15 lengths to find 1080 and Eaton Star. But on the far outside, it looks like uh, Marlow has taken it up very easily by about three, four lengths. And it's going to be Marlow who's going to take this. Well, Dunlevy coming with a big run down the straight. And it looks like Dunlevy's come up now. And Dunlevy's coming up with a big last minute effort run. And Dunlevy's going to win the Jill Harley Memorial by about five, six, seven lengths from Marlow, who trails in second. And then go back to find Eaton Star about 15 lengths behind that. And four lengths behind Eaton Star is 1080. So a great win there for horse number two, Dunlevy.